human steering mechanism in detail. We know that for perfect steering, an instantaneous center is required about which all the wheels must rotate. Also we know that for this purpose the inner wheel has to turn at an angle more than the outer wheel. Now this condition is achieved with the help of following two mechanisms. Davis steering mechanism and Ackerman steering mechanism. Out of these, Ackerman steering is universally used because of its simplicity. Now let us discuss Ackerman steering in brief. A typical Ackerman steering can be shown as here the links are A and SB are attached to the stub axles. These links are connected to each other through a track rod AB. During the straight ahead position, these links make angle alpha with the center line of the car. Now consider the vehicle taking left turn. Let theta be the angle by which the arm RA moves. Phi be the angle by which the arm SB moves. L be the length of the track rod AB. R be the length of link RA and SB. And X be the horizontal movement of point A and B. Now according to the diagram for link RA, the equation can be given by Similarly, for link SB, the equation can be given by on adding both equations, we get or thus we achieve the equation for perfect steering. Now, this mechanism gives the following three positions for correct steering. Theta is equal to zero, that is when the vehicle is running straight. A specific turning angle while turning left and a specific turning angle while turning right. However, for other angles also, it gives a closer approximation to the ideal condition. That's why this mechanism is universally used. Now let's summarize the Ackerman steering mechanism as